Hi all, welcome to this video. I'm Misha Odia and here I'll be sharing my analysis on one of the famous romantic pieces, Libris Roma No. 3. The expressive nature of this work is reminiscent of the opening refrain which is written throughout the poem. The promise of love is hopeful at the start. However, it soon dissipates after the death of loved one. The emotion within the poetry is what essentially shaped the form of Libes Troima No. 3. History Background Libes Troima is actually a set of three solo piano works, and the last of the three works turned out to be the most popular one. The three Libes Troima were composed after German poem writer Ludwig Uhlan and Ferdinand Friedrich. The Bestroima or Dreams of Love are all connected in theme. They're all expressing some aspect of love. First, it's about a religious love, renouncing worldly love for heaven. Second, erotic love, which first line is, I was dead from love's please. And the third works, or the last one, unconditional love which means love as long as you can. Let's get in more details in the third Libes Troima. Here, I will show the full poem and the translation. This Libes Troima is the saddest and most passionate of the bunch because it's discussing love that extends beyond that. The bulk of a song is these dreams of love, of being reunited with a lost love in dreams, only to be brought back to reality, where that love exists no longer. Composition This piece had three sections, in which each section split up by a cadenza section. These beautiful works start in its tonic key A flat major with an upbeat note. A simple melody with arpeggiated accompaniment, repeated twice in the first 12 bars. The first section is in A flat major, but the second section is in B major, then back to A flat major. A flat major to B major, quite a unusual modulation, and not related at all. For me, this represents that battling feelings between love and death, and actually, the theme of each section is quite similar, not only the rhythm, but also the pattern. Although they had almost similar theme, each of them gave different feels to it. The cadenzas, which represent the Libes Troima, are very interesting, as Liszt used big range of the piano to express feelings of hope. The first cadenza, fast passage and chromaticisms, which give the idea of dream state. While the back and forth motion on the second cadenza emphasize the change between dream and reality and realization. But the poet realized he can only be truly in love in his dreams. Then followed by the last section. I call this as reminiscent section, recalling the memories. Through atmospheric chains, you can feel the sense that the poet is feeling sorrowful and faced with the reality of death. The piece ends very quickly, in its original key, A flat major. Despite the sorrow embedded in this piece, the ability of love to transcend even death, leaving a smile, not a frown. Such a perfect ending to an emotional roller coaster of a piece. It is a story of love and loss portrayed to music, an absolutely stunning piece, which is both heart-wrenching and troubled. With his use of complex harmony structure, simple melodies, and range of dynamics, Liz was able to build a world that still nourishes the minds of musicians today. You can see my performance video of this beautiful piece in my channel or in the link below. I hope this video can give you more understanding about the piece. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!